Now, it's one of the most crucial ways of protection from the virus. That's what people are talking about. What can they do? And they're all queuing up for the facial mask. Face masks are the heroes in times of this new coronavirus. But unfortunately, there aren't enough of them. And paranoia-stuck people are getting violent at pharmacies to get one. In the meantime, there's also a debate on how many times can you use a face mask and if a face mask really protects you from this virus. There are a lot of questions. Our next report tries to look for some answers. This is how anger boiled over in Hong Kong. A search for face masks that is sending people over the edge. The police have to be called in. Meanwhile, the health service chief had an intense argument in parliament. She prefers to steam her face mask and wear it again. But a government-run centre says it is strictly for single use. Can you actually clean and reuse face mask? Well, the debate is far from settled. Residents of Hong Kong first want to get one. There are long queues for face masks. Residents in the Kowloon district braved a seven-hour long queue only to find that the masks are all sold out. Panic buyers are stripping shelves and supermarkets empty across the world. Just to give you an idea, surgical masks were sold out across pharmacies in Paris on Saturday, January 25th a day after France announced its first confirmed case. In Manila, too, the demand has shot up. Face masks were sold out across pharmacies in the Filipino capital. People were seen in endless queues in Bangkok as well. In Thailand, some companies have made it mandatory for employees to wear them. This railway station in Taiwan tells you how all pervasive the face mask is. It's hard to spot a person without one. While in Kathmandu, these face masks are being introduced at a school, even as the coronavirus found its first victim in the Himalayan kingdom. People are buying masks, but do they actually help? Well, it depends. The germs don't generally spread through the air at one time. They ride from person to person on droplets of a sneeze or cough. Experts say the mask can block only large droplets, not the small ones. But they do have another important benefit. Someone in a mask can't touch their own nose and mouth. So that prevents the wearer from picking up germs further. None of this, however, is based on rigorous research. A 2017 study suggested masks offered some protection during the SARS epidemic, but also said evidence is sparse and inconsistent. So while the face mask is a good precaution, it will only help so much. Wash hands with soap and water, if not an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Incidentally, that's the same advice for avoiding regular cold and flu viruses. Peer Report, Beyond World is One.